Hi, this is Walter Weesey with Yellowstone Country Fly Fishing and Parks Fly Shop with my weekly fly tying video for November 22nd, 2020. And what I'm going to be doing here is an uh, sort of OG pink lightning bug, my little variation on it. Um, pink is pretty important as a color here throughout the region in the winter, uh, especially up on the Missouri River, uh, the Lower Madison River, the Bighorn, places with scuds with a lot of eggs. Um, and pink lightning bug, I think, is my favorite fly, particularly up on the Missouri River during the winter. And that actually are, extends into May, usually, until 5th to 10th of May. Uh, that's probably my favorite bug. And that's because it, it can be a midge, or it can be a mayfly, it can be an egg, it can be a scud, it can be a sow bug. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things they could be eating, but they do kind of get egg on the brain. And so having something pink is a good, is a good uh, policy. And... Uh, Quick tie, a little different than your your average lightning bug, and uh, yeah, so it's an important one through the winter. Go ahead and tie some up. My hook here is a 16 standard scud with a 332nd inch nickel brass bead on there, and my thread is 80 hot pink. Now the um, I could certainly use a tungsten bead on here, and I you do usually tie this fly in 18. I tie it 16 and 18, uh, but usually fish it in 18. Um, just easier to shoot the video for 16. And uh, I will, will usually fish this in conjunction with something else, either a larger scud, a weighted egg of some kind, uh, an Amex or rainbow check nymph, something like that. Usually in a 12 to 14, maybe a 16, uh, maybe a big San Juan worm, you know, something like that. And so I don't usually fish this with uh, tungsten beads simply because I don't need a tungsten bead to get it down. And then my tail on this fly, which is really kind of more of a, a shuck almost, even though it, it you know, nothing it imitates has a shuck, is going to be shell pink and tron yarn. Um, and then I'm going to take some of that. That's just a normal, you know, sized bunch of yarn. And I'm going to pull out a few of those. And then on an 18, I'd probably be using just kind of half a bundle. You know, if I clipped off a, a piece of Antron yarn, I would cut, you know, split that bundle in two and then get, get two flies out of one bundle. I'm just going to take that in and tie it in. Now, normally, of course, I'd be tying, you know, I'd have six inches of Antron and I'd be tying a whole bunch of flies without actually, uh, swapping out the uh or cutting a new strand but for this one i just cut a little bit and i'm going to trim that and then notice when i tied that in i went about a third of the way down and then came back to the eye and that's because i'm going to tie in my body material which is going to be pink holographic flashaboo and uh i should probably note one of the other videos i did i think last year was sort of the other fly i use that fits this category which i, I call pink warrior it's a just a pink rainbow warrior variation um, and that's, you know, usually I'll have one client fishing this and one client fishing that pink rainbow warrior. And I do find this one is probably a little bit more effective, um, except maybe on bright, sunny days when I think this one's just a little bit too bright, uh, or when the water's really low. But it's, it's close enough that I, you know, like I said, I want to have one client fishing one thing and one fishing the other. Um, certainly not known for guiding up on the Missouri. I do guide on the Missouri some you know, below Holter, uh, where it's, you know, more famous, more traveled. And I have done the Land of the Giants section in, uh, in the spring by a jet boat. Hoping to do that again starting next season, actually. I was planning on buying a jet boat this fall, but then uh, the COVID, you know, surge happened, and I'm kind of worried about traveling, so I'm going to hold off until spring. Hopefully get one in the spring and start guiding up there again next year, because that's, uh, if you're not familiar, just look up Land of the Giants, Missouri River, and you'll see why. But uh, the best time to fish up there is March through June, which obviously isn't our key time anywhere else around here, and so it helps to expand my season. But anyway, um, my rib on this fly is going to be small red ultra wire, and I, you know, if I was tying a regular lightning bug in this size range, I'd probably use brassy wire. Um, on this particular one, I don't really want the rib to be too prominent. I just kind of want it to be. Um, color if that if that makes sense and so I'm using small on this I would use extra small on 18s. I'm going to come in here and super glue my body just before I wrap that body and I like to use the flashaboo um, I double it around the thread and then so that way I have you know two strands of it to wrap forward just because with one strand of tinsel um, you know 
you'd have uh, the potential to have more gaps in the body. And so with two strands wrapped around the thread like that and then both wrapped forward together, I find you get fewer gaps in the body. Although it is a little bit harder to wrap it without, uh, you know, over, um, you know, kinking that wire a little bit. And I'm going to take my wire, or not kink the wire, kinking the, uh, putting kinks in the body, I'm trying to say. And I'm going to take my wire and then wrap that forward. And some of these I'll wrap, you know, five turns. That one I did a little more. Um, and that's the sort of thing, like I said, getting a little bit more or less of that red color in there uh, can, you know, sometimes seems like it might make a difference, but, uh, you know, it probably doesn't. So whatever, uh, however much you want. Uh, my, my wing case on this fly is going to be pearl tinsel. And on most of my lightning bug type flies, I use opal. Uh, this one I'm using the pearl because I kind of want the thorax to actually show through. In other words, this isn't really functioning as a wing case. It's functioning more just as a little shine over the wing case. Or I'm sorry, a little shine over the thorax. And uh, like I said, that's, that's one of the differentiating factors of this, this fly is it's not... It's a, it's a pretty unusual fly, really, because it's, you know, mayfly nymph appearance, but probably is not really imitating a mayfly very much. And so um, some of these features that you would tie one way with a mayfly, you're not going to tie that way with this, uh, you know, scud slash egg slash junk fly. Now my rib on this fly, or I'm sorry, my thorax on this fly is going to be a dubbing blend I made. And this is, uh, this is actually the same dubbing I use on the brown and pink version of my Bob Hopper. Um, and uh, what this mostly is, is is several different colors of acrylic and then some hot pink UV ice dub. So I'm going to grab a little pinch of that and this kind of, to go with that egg theme, I want it rough. Um, I don't tie any legs on this fly and so I want this dubbing rough. So I'm going to come in here and just kind of get that on the thread if you will. That's going to be way too much. And uh, just just get that sort of adhering to the thread like that. And then go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and wrap that forward. And if some of that thread shows through in the wing case, or in the uh, thorax, no problem. I'm also going to make this probably a little thicker than I would on, you know, a standard sort of lightning bug. And then kind of a ball there. Uh, again, you see that's kind of a, uh, almost like a miniature egg there. And I'm going to pull that tinsel forward over the wing case. Tie it down. And then this is a trick that I got from, uh, I think his name is Vince Wilcox. Um, I'm not going to wrap, I'm not going to pull this back and secure it like that. I'm actually going to clip this long and leave that just like that, just hanging loose there, just for that additional little bit of flash at the front of the fly. And then I do want my pink to show through that hot pink again for a little bit of contrast. And so I can made it several more wraps there and now I'll go ahead and whip finish. I could have also used hot orange thread there if I really wanted to have sort of a hot spot. Uh, but, you know, that dark pink will show a little bit too. And if I wanted to, I could put some, uh, you know, some UV cure over the back of that wing case, which I didn't tie very straight, but that's okay. Um, but I usually don't. I usually just fish it like this. You do tend to lose a lot of these. And, uh, and so, obviously, a quick tie, making it as quick as possible, um, is, is pretty good policy. But there you have it, there's my variation on a pink lightning bug, good winter fly around here, particularly on the tailwaters, but uh, I have caught fish on the Yellowstone on that too, and so they, I think they just get that subconscious memory of the brown trout eggs in the fall, and then they start seeing the rainbow eggs dribbling loose in the spring, and uh, you know, that's just, that's like you eating an egg for breakfast, it's good protein and they need it in the winter because, uh, you know, there's not a lot of food around, and so something that provides that extra protein is a good one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good Thanksgiving. Hopefully socially distancing as much as possible. Um, yeah, feel free to ask any questions, book some trips, and so on and so forth. See you next week.